Hey streamers, Zeppelinium here. I want to introduce you to the Aussie Explorer mapping software. Maybe we can get a group up that uh, uses this and shares tracks. We'll talk about it uh, as an introduction video with its functions and various maps, making a route, downloading a GPS track, using internet maps, which is a very cool new feature, and detailed topographic maps. So, opening up Ozzy, we'll take a look here. This is Ozzy without any map loaded. We'll come up here. I've previously loaded some maps, so we'll go back and we'll, for instance, load the uh, Washington State Highway map. This is a paper map that I have scanned in and calibrated. So, if you've got a scanner and some kind of a way to merge various scans, uh, you can make a map as big as you like, as long as you keep them straight. Uh, Photoshop does a great job. Anyway, as you can see, this is a free map that's uh, handed out at the welcome stations for Washington. It's uh, fairly old, but still quite useful. Uh, there are other kinds of maps. Let's take a quick look. I've got a thumbnail off the side you can't see, and I'll just quickly uh, move around this map. You can see this is up at the very northwest corner of Washington State, and I'll compare that to a map I recently made using a PDF file, which I opened up and did scans or uh, screen captures and then put those together in Photoshop. Sometimes when you open a map, it always opens in the northwest corner, and in this case, the northwest corner is pretty much Pacific Ocean, so I'll go over and click on a portion you can see, and there is that same northwest corner of the state, and you can see it looks quite a bit different than the previous map. And we can go down the coast here to uh, the, uh, the park and the, uh, some of the Indian lands, and even further down, where you can see the park intersecting with Indian lands, intersecting with private lands. And this is from the PDF, which has a lot of different information on it and quite useful. And this map is also calibrated and will display a GPS plot perfectly. Taking a look at uh, additional maps that this uses, uh, here's a map made essentially from uh, Google road tiles. And you can see it's a very large-scale map. shows the whole United States. and uh, you can do that at almost any scale downloaded from the Internet. You will do one at a slightly different scale, and then one at a much closer scale. Uh, the first one was 5, second one was 6, this one is 8, and now I have to drag Seattle up into where we can see it. The, uh, the program, let's go back now to a previous very large-scale map. The program has the capability of putting waypoints on the map, and you can even upload these waypoints to um, a GPS, or you can put it into the route editor and find out, for instance, if you followed that route, uh, how far would it be? Well, let's find out. We'll open up the route editor box. We'll double-click on route one. We'll select all the waypoints and add them and say OK. And now, if you look in the actual distance, it's 1,773 miles, disregarding all the turns that we never looked at. Okay, that's enough for the introduction. If you're interested in something like this, which can be used for moving map in your vehicle with the GPS, it's an outstanding program. One license fee of about $100, as I recall, lasts forever. I paid about 10 years ago, and I've had probably 20 updates to this program in that time. Anyway, we will go back. Uh, in the next video to making a route. Thanks.